Chester Tugwell from Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video we're going to look at creating bibliographies and citations within Word 2013. Okay, so I'm going to start off by just creating some sample text. Neat little formula in Word that allows you to do this by the way. It's just to type equals rand and then in brackets two numbers. So, for example, let me just show if I put 5, 2, that would create um, five paragraphs with two lines of text within it. Um, if I put 10, 10, which is what I want, it will give me a lot more text. So it would be 10 paragraphs with 10 lines within it. Okay. So anyway, we've got some random text within our document. And uh, what we want to do is to put some citations in and then to put a bi bibliography at the end of our document. Now, the first thing to do is to set up the sources for your citations. Um, now, to do that, just switch over to the References tab on your ribbon, which I've already clicked on. And then within this Citations and Bibliography group, you want to click on Manage Sources. That will bring up this dialog box here. Another way to do that would be to go to Insert Citations, Add New Source. And that actually brings up the Create Source dialog box, which we would get to by going to Manage Sources, New. So maybe it's actually a little bit quicker to just to go Insert Citation, Add New Source, rather than Manage Sources, New but it gets you to the same place. Now, you need to, first of all, tell Word what type of source you want to create. Now, we've got a little list up here. You've got book, book sections, journal articles, websites, etc. We're going to go for a book as our source in the first instance. Now, my first source is from one of the Microsoft Inside Out books and I can see that the author for that book is Catherine Murray. So rather than writing the name in here I'm going to click on edit and type it in here and this will ensure that the name appears in the correct format in my citation and in my bibliography. So there we are, there's Catherine Murray. It doesn't appear to have a middle name so I can click on add. And if you wanted to add further authors you could just do the same thing, fill in those fields, click on add. Click on OK. There we are. Appears in there. Now, title is Word 2010, Inside Out. Year. Now, you can normally find that in the inside cover. It's 2010. City, uh, California. And publisher, Microsoft Press. I can click on OK. So I've got my first, you can see I've already added it there, but let's get rid of that initial one. And there we are, it's in my uh, master list now of sources, and it's also in my current list. This is master list kind of remains in Word, so you can refer to uh, that source maybe in other documents. So um, I'm going to create another source, so new again. This time I'll say it's a website, which is there. So you get slightly different fields with this. So author, now sometimes you go onto a web page, for example I might go to the Microsoft web page and it won't give you uh, an exact author, uh, an exact person who wrote the article, but what you could say is well because it's on the Microsoft website I can safely say that Microsoft had some uh, dealings with it at some point. Now name of web page, let's, I'm making this up, um, how to create a table of contents. Name of website, well I think I'll call it support, oh no, uh, let's call it Microsoft Help. I'm making this up by the way so don't go looking for this page. Uh, year, so this is the year that the article was created. You may not be able to find this but I'm going to type 2011. Month, you can see down here it asks me to write the month in full. So let's say March, day, the 5th of March. 
URL. So let's type www.microsoft.com forward slash word. Again, I'm making this up, so don't go looking for that particular page. So I click on OK. So I've got my two um, uh, sources there in my source manager. You obviously, in real life, you're probably going to have a whole lot more. But for this video, that will do. So I'm going to click on close. But before I click on close, by the way, you can click on a particular um, source there. And you can see you've got a preview of how it will look. One is a citation within your document. And two, what the bibliography entry will look like. So I've got that one for that. And I've got that one for the book. So you just can see exactly how it's going to look. So I'm going to click on close. So I've set up my sources. So how do I actually insert those little citations within my document? Well, what you do, say I wanted to, maybe I had a little quote here, and I wanted to be able to input a citation for that quotation. What I would do is I'd place the citation before the full stop at the end of the sentence. And all I do is I go to insert citation and I'll say that that was written by Catherine Murray, for example. And it just puts the citation in for me. Now I can continue to use that source. Say I wanted to put it there. Just go back up there. And I can use it again. So I don't have to keep re-entering it. And if I wanted to use the web page one, again, I'll just click before the full stop at the end of the sentence. And I would add in my citation. Now, so that's fairly easy to uh, set up. What you want to be aware of, though, is the style that you are going to use. So the default, uh, on my version of Word anyway, is APA. But your university or your organization will be able to inform you exactly which of these styles um, that you should use when you set up your uh, citations and your bi bibliography. Um, that will have an impact on the fields that actually come up when you have to enter these bits of information. So really that should kind of be set up before uh, you use your managed sources or set up your sources or whatever. But the default is the APA 6th edition, certainly is on my version of Word anyway. So we've inserted our citation, so the last thing you'd want to do at the end of your document is set up your bibliography. Now that is really easy. You set up your sources, all you do is you go to your bibliography button here, and you've got different styles of bibliography, but really it's all about the title on top of uh, the sources. I'm just going to go for the top one bibliography, references, or works cited. It's the same thing apart from the title. I click on here, and there we are. It's inserted my bibliography with my two sources correctly formatted. Okay, pretty simple, nice and easy to use. Uh, inserting citations and bibliographies in Word 2013. Thanks very much for listening.